taught you wrong. Yep. Another thing in the New Testament tells you that things that were written from, from before that referred to the Old Testament was for your learning today. Like Romans 6, 5. What are you talking about? You know, burned the, it was burnt up because of the pride of the, uh, the righteous men in Sodom that was crying about what was going on around them. It was crying about the men and the women committing foul behavior, you know, sleeping with animals, you know. You know that's crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all over the internet. But as they cried, the most I heard, he was hearing them, hearing them complaining, complaining about seeing it. Let me ask y'all, uh, did y'all out here for gay rights? Why, why do you believe in gay? What is the word? Gay means to be happy. Okay, you know to being a homosexual and getting, uh, getting human feces and doo-doo all over yourself, that, that can cause infections to spread back to you. So, so is that gay? That's not happy. You call it being affected with AIDS? Is that being happy and joyous? Not every gay person so, so, so you're not out here for gay rights. What did you say, say again? Not every gay person gets AIDS. But gay, no, well, being a homosexual. Well, they get infection, though, because it's a... Uh, they can't. It's not, a, it's not a... It's not a... Well, right, not just AIDS, but there are other diseases. Not a real chlamydia. Yeah, Do you know homosexuality uh, is driving up insurance costs and in insurance rates? But there are uh, you know that's a you know it's a fact, the, right? That's the whole reason okay. why insurance are high because of the homosexual. Are there because are sexual, uh, hey, what's up, Will? What's going on? My homie. Oh, what's up? Let me get a scripture yeah, for you. Though. Yeah. We need to get out here. Y'all believe in the Bible? We believe in God. Man. You said you said your grandma. Yeah. Your grandma. Yeah. Like yeah. Let me show you something. Yeah. Leviticus is twenty and thirteen. So, are you an anarchist? No, sir. Do you believe in? Are you a law abiding? You know the Bible, this is the law, right? That's a law for No, no, it's the law for the whole universe. Okay? So God, he's the master of the universe. He created the universe. So this is what the Bible says. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their, Their blood, blood shall be upon them. On them. So, so the Holy Bible. That's what Leviticus 18. Yes, that's what Leviticus says. That's the law in the Bible. So that's what Jesus was teaching the same thing. Uh, huh? I know. So you don't believe in Jesus? I believe that there was a man named Jesus. Oh, a man named. Oh, you say you saying he's not well, the Son of God? He is the Son of God. He was a man though. But he was a. Okay, so you believe in Jesus, but Jesus was against being a homosexual. But he believed in love. The love is what is love. No, that's your definition of love. Right. I'm gonna give you the biblical definition of love. Right. Okay, because a homo being a homosexual, that's a foul lust. When, when you get a, a lust for another, uh, if you're a woman, if you lust after another woman, that's a demon that got on you to give you that lust. Remember, really is the most high tempted, and he's putting a foul, wicked lust on you. So I'm gonna show you a scripture. I'm gonna show you what love well, especially is. Especially when it's referring to women. Now, the book of 26th chapter of Jer uh, Matthew tells you that whatever she speaks, whatever she's doing, her whole lifestyle, all that wicked stuff is going to become a memorial for her to remember when the destruction comes. She's going to be sitting back thinking like, oh, shit, I did that? You mean I said that? Then you go to the book of Numbers as an example of how women shouldn't be speaking out, you know, especially to a man. Yeah. Now, you shouldn't speak out and how, um, 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 what's his name? Uh, Moses' uh, sister, she was made to look leprous, yeah. you know, from opening her, opening her damn mouth. He didn't punish Aaron, he punished her, his sister. Because women are supposed to be put in subjection unto the man. That's really the state that a woman likes to be in. Okay, when a woman gets to put in a subjection under a man, then she's gonna feel a lot better about herself. Let me show you something. This is 2 John. Now you said love, it's all about love, right? Okay, okay, it's all about love. I'm gonna show you the biblical definition of the word love. Second John, some rides here. One is, this is 2 John 6, and exactly. this is love that we walk after his commandments. So the Bible said love is keeping the commandments, not being a faggot, being a freak and a homosexual, okay? That's not love, that's hatred. <laughs> See that? Yeah, we got a good shot on them mother... Yeah, right. You know, he initial like too. He didn't expect this to come up. He ain't had shit to say. Right, stuck in stupid. Stuck straight up stupid. They just make for good entertainment.
well, yeah, well, they are entertainment to us. <laughs> we look at people like that, we laugh at them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause these people are foolish as hell, man. They, they're free. And when, when, the, when the word of the Lord come out, they ain't got shit to say, man. Cause they know. <laughs> she said she believed in Jesus, and she said that you're supposed to keep the law. Now, why are you out here teaching people to, out here fighting for, fighting to be a faggot? <laughs> that doesn't make sense, man. You're you gonna fight for the right to be a faggot. Hey, look at that bad ass bitch right there, man. Look at that nigga. Living in this motherfucking shit out here and have to actually live in a foul piece of shit society like America, that's not a good day. That's a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Well, not everybody catches AIDS. <laughs> not every, uh, she said not everybody catches AIDS. What about the other? I mean, go ahead. If you like playing Russian roulette, go ahead. I mean, that's not a Russian roulette's not a game I like to play. So go ahead, I mean, go ahead and take your chances, roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Get your money taken. You're gonna be a faggot. I mean, you're probably gonna die. You gonna, something's gonna be wrong. You're gonna catch AIDS, you're gonna drop dead, man. That's what's, that's what's gonna happen to you. And it's always the people who don't believe in the Bible too to say they're faggots. That, but this bitch down, this, this fag, there was a fag, that faggot down there, he was a, here he is, he's a big old faggot talking about his grandma's a preacher. You see what, that's what happens when you got women teaching in the churches. When you get women teaching in the churches, everybody becomes faggots. You see that shit? Yeah. That's why he's a faggot. Talking about his grandma's a preacher. See, that's why women that have no authority. We, we don't, the women is not gonna give you no kind of spiritual guidance, okay? It's not possible. I got scripture right there. A scripture on that. You know, he do said his, his grandmammy was a preacher I and, never and um, taught him the Bible. So that makes perfect sense. Now look at him. Now he's a big flaming faggot. And when the word of the Lord came out, he didn't have anything to say either, okay? Because uh, he might go home. That dude might go commit suicide or something now. That's the perfect scripture to start the day off right here. Isaiah uh, 3 and 11. Woe unto the wicked. Oh. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Yeah, women, like, yeah, he, got, he said his grandma was a preacher. Now, no, the Bible says women got to stay silent. I'm about to get that scripture. The Bible said you're not allowed to have women preachers. That's madness. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Now homosexuality obviously is the way that's gonna destroy a motherfucker's path. Sticking his dick up in somebody's motherfucking shit. You know, that's some foul shit. Which they could they encourage that behavior in this uh this uh this uh this society. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's what happens when a woman rules over you. When a woman is in charge, that's why you got women in charge of all the families. There's no man in the family. There's no such thing as a family. You know, there's no such thing as a father. So it's a, all the families are uh, single mothers, and then that's why all the children are growing up to be, to have a real feminine spirit on them. Oh, there's nothing worse than a grown man with a feminine spirit, man. There's nothing worse than that, man. That's a curse, man. Man, that's why this whole country is cursed. That's why they talking about letting faggots into Boy Scouts now. <laughs> well, first of all, yeah. They've always been in there. Yeah, they've always been in there. But now they're going to have openly fa gay fucking faggots in the Boy Scouts. So they're going to have the Scout Masters fucking the little boys and they say, oh, that's good, that's love. And they'll say that's love. 
That's why the Lord's going to bring, he's going to bring fire, death, and destruction on this There you go, man. there you go. Oh, go ahead, man. Oh, you know, and he's and speaking of his grandmama again. We got to stay on grandmama for a minute. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. So I don't even got to meet his grandma. I already know she's a pitiful woman. Is she claiming to be a, I smell pork in the air. You smell that yeah, foul smell shit? This is foul, man. man it, yeah, you got his grandma claim to be a preacher. So, you know she's a liar, because there's no such thing as a grandma preacher. That don't exist. Read that again. The hand, the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Yeah, her children were sodden. He was sodden with the spirit of Satan. Made him stupid. Made yeah. him stupid. And, yeah, he had no knowledge. He made him all effeminate. Was raised by a woman, taught by a woman. Mm -hmm. Talking about his grandma's a preacher. This is what we wake up to every day. Should make you want to puke. Every fucking day you wake up and you see people like this. You know, it ain't no, don't nobody say shit but a, but a man of the Lord. You know, the masses of the people just walk on by. This is my old grandma got such great knowledge. Your grandma's such a spiritual woman. No, she's not. You said it was such pride. Yeah. Where you? Where is that in the scriptures, man? Y'all, none of y'all even read the scriptures. Y'all claim to be Christians. Y'all know nothing about the Bible. Y'all a bunch of dummies, man. Oh, my fault. Go ahead. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. <laughs> you know, destroyed them. They destroyed Israel. They destroyed Israel. You know? They, what they, what they, what they, what they say? Yeah. You know, say, the Lord, man, the Lord loves me, and uh, I've been of my sins, and they don't even know their sins. Yeah, now, now, now all the men these days are effeminate, and now they got all the women trying to be masculine. Everything's all backwards. Everything's out of balance. I bet, I bet his grandma preacher, I bet she was some 300 pound fat bitch. You know what I mean? Talking about she's a good cook too. Oh yeah, I bet she is. Cooking up that soul food. Sorry. Cooking that food to kill your whole, give you a heart attack. Every day. You can't hit a wall or something, man. You don't have something physical to do, man. That's hard on your body. All that energy you get built in, man. You gotta do something. I got a scripture for y'all. This is 1 Timothy 2. And, uh, man, where should I start? I'm gonna start, you know what? Man, I wanna read the whole thing. I'm gonna read it, start 1 Timothy 2 and 7. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and apostle. I speak the truth of Christ and lie not. So we out here preaching the truth and we ain't lying. Everything we say is 100% truth, okay? He said, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up the holy hands without wrath and doubting. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Nobody, ain't a pair of pants with a bitch ain't no modest apparel. Yeah. You know, bitch. a tight, a tight skin, skin tight skin, whatever you call that, uh, they look like stockings they put on. You can see their drawers. Right, right. That ain't that ain't modest apparel. But well, you can see their nipples. You can see their titties. Right. They, they even got shirts that are that are that look like drawers. they are shirts that look like drawers. Brazilians, you know. Then you got faggots walking around wearing some real weird shit, man. Fucking. This place is foul, man. Look, First Timothy two. Like a pair, like a zipper is a, <laughs> a zipper. What the bitch got a zipper for, man? She gonna pull a dick out? That's crazy, man. They're gonna pull out a strap on. <laughs> yeah, they might do that. That's good. Well, I won't die. You know, I won't be surprised. A lot of these bitches are bisexual. I won't be surprised if they did, man. You know? Mm. It, it says, in like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness Shame and sobriety, faces. not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. I mean, that's all a woman cares about. All she cares about. Is that all the jewelry, painting the face up, looking like a clown. Yeah. Bitch, wake up in the morning, turn turn herself into a new person. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. She, she going to work with about, uh, she, here it is a woman to be married, that has a man at home, but she going to get all dressed up, wearing her best clothes to go impress people she's working with. I had to tell you that she, she's committing adultery while she at work too. Oh, she's fucking her best friend at work in the Yeah, a woman's not even supposed to be working with men. That's madness, man. That's complete and utter madness. Women are not supposed to go to school with other boys. Like a high school, when you're a high school, you're not supposed to have young men and women going to school at the same time. They're supposed to be separated. 
okay? And first of all, it's not even supposed to be in school. The whole school system is satanic in origin. A bunch of goddamn devil worshippers. They teaching your children to be a communist and to be an atheist and an agnostic. That's what your schools teach your child to be an atheist. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, that's why there's no Bibles allowed in the school. There's no Bibles allowed in the school that they'll teach your child about evolution, about atheism. They'll, even, they'll, say, they'll say that God don't exist, but then they'll teach you about Zeus, and then they'll teach you about Athena, and they'll teach you about Osiris and Horus. They'll teach you that in school, but they'll say no Bibles allowed in the school. A bunch of damn demons. I hope they'll see the latest arrest with a child. What happened? The, the, well, I don't know if they arrested him, but the kid was uh, uh, expelled for a fake grenade, that imaginary grenade. Imaginary Playing, grenade. You know how we play fighting and yeah. war and this motherfucker saving that like he's saving somebody and threw a grenade. That's that weak spirit, man. You know? That's all by design. They, they putting that weak spirit out there on purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's actually, uh, that's another reason why America is called the Great Whore of Babylon. Because uh, America's uh, got the spirit of a horse woman on it. You know what I'm saying? Because America, America people that got the spirit of a whore. That's why the Lord called y'all a wicked and adulterous generation. A whore, that's an adulteress. You know what I'm saying? Oops. Oh, man, I had another scripture. I can't remember. Let me get y'all oh, oh, go ahead. You get it. I already got one. They said, uh, but this is 1 Timothy 2 and 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. And you know, these bitches, they don't need to be in no fucking authority, man. They, you don't know how they're gonna work act uh, an hour later. They so, it's such a fucking emotional wreck, man, with these women, man. On a fucking period. They can't even control their emotions when they're on a the fucking period. And that's why it's always women that have a pro... It's, Usually women always have a problem with us when we teach them the Bible. They abuse their power too when they authority, man. Yeah, they'll call the cops on you, they'll get up in your face and spit on you. A they will too. A woman will push you and push you. Because here it is, they call they try to claim that they're equal with men. That but how come they always tempting a man to hit them so they can call the cops? Yep. If you're so equal, why are you calling the cops all the time? Right, right, right. My daughter every day comes and tells me, I don't know why, but she just does. Every day, this is every day, she tells me how she is. Uh, an emotional wreck at work. How she's always snapping on someone. She know, it's, you know, my daughter knows she's a wreck, man. She yeah. knows. She'll tell you she's a wreck. You know, every day she's snapping on somebody. Every day she's pushing somebody out. First of all, she don't give a fuck about she having a job. <laughs> you know, she don't give a fuck. So she's already coming in that motherfucker with a I don't give a fuck attitude, man. She don't need to have no authority at all. That pork stinks, man. Yeah, that stinks. These people fucking stink. They go down in front of the union. Goddamn people it really stink. smells like fucking straight pork out here, man. That shit is an abomination. It's because when this weather gets like this, they, they it's like the house of murders everywhere, man. You know, they party, man. They cooking and shit. They barbecue and this shit. This shit is foul, man. Yeah, you know. Um, you got to get a I said, let the, first Timothy 2 and 11, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, to be, but to be in silence. So that dude we talking to earlier talking about his grandma was a preacher. Man, no, your grandma was not a preacher. The Bible said a woman ain't allowed to speak. Oh, we just hit by a car. I got a, I got a habit, man, when I'm just randomly out teaching like a school somewhere, man. I got a habit of telling women to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it just comes out. It just out, come man. out because you, you like, know? yeah, you get tired of hearing all that yapping, man. Because they don't, they don't respond to you well to tell them that, you know, could you not speak? They don't respond well to nice shit like that. Because a woman don't study. What kind of knowledge does a woman have? All a woman does, she watches soap operas all day. And she doesn't know anything. I've never seen a woman know anything about history. Soap and operas and have, reality TV. Yeah, reality TV. Bitch don't know anything, man. A woman can't know how to cook nothing. She don't know how to clean nothing. She wants her hands proper. She definitely can't fix nothing or build nothing. Only thing she can do is be a hoe, collect child support. That's all a hoe can do is collect child support. That's all they good at. That's the only skill a woman have is committing adultery and collecting child support. That's it. That's all they good for. Wickedness. Yep. That's it, wickedness. But look, because it says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And then you'll have a bunch of Uncle Toms come up, a bunch of a bunch of pussy whip faggots. They'll come up, they'll talk about, oh, you gotta have respect for our queens. 
But the, all life comes for the woman and the mother goddess and all this madness. Well, well, first of all, the Most High is not a woman. God is a man. This creature. This, yeah, the scripture says the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the, the Lord is a man. The God is not a woman. Okay? So all life comes from the man. That's why we know the Most High is a man. He's not a woman. a black man at that. Yeah, the Most High. You know what the Most High is, though? You know who the Lord is? Yeah, I know. You know he a black man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not a woman. It's, you know, some people trying to say God is a black woman. Right, right. Man, these people are fucking sick. Them goddamn Africans. Of all motherfuckers, a black woman? Yeah, them in Egyptologists, they be worshiping the queen of heaven. They worship Isis. The Bible talk about Isis. That's the worshiping of the woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why all these churches teaching Mary was a virgin, and that's a lie. Because Mary was not a virgin. When you say Mary is a virgin, that means you worship the queen of heaven. That means you're a pagan. That's what that means. Oh, man. Matthew. Oh, now go ahead. Matthew 26 and 13. Uh, Verily, I say unto you, whosoever this gospel shall be preached in the world, in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial unto her. You know, and it, it's, it, the bitch is quick to say that she's saved. Wick is hoe in the hood and quick to say she's saved though. But her whole past is gonna be a memorial to her wicked ass. <laughs> her whole motherfucking past, you know? All them times she done put people to death by frying up that pork chop, you know? The celebration on the holidays is the chitlins. You know, that's a pain, that's a favorite pastime with niggas too, man. Clean the chitlins. Yeah, like a right, woman. Can I help mom clean them? A woman, man, these women don't know anything about health. If you try to talk to a woman about health and eat healthy, she'll look at you, start laughing like, hey, this motherfucker, this weirdo. You ever you smell know, the man? house, man, when you clean chitlins? I don't want to smell that shit. Oh man. my goodness, man. My family, man, they, they don't buy, uh, man, they buy like them buckets, man. They buy like six to eight little motherfuckers. That's and we'll have two pots of chitlins cooking. That's bad. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, any pork, any case, the smell of pork just set me off, man. Chitlins, man. Chitlins, and, then they, man. and then you see these women, and these men do it too. They feed out pork to their children, man. Mm. man you, might, you just might, might as well feed your children shit, man. Just make a shit sandwich for them. Right. Yeah, that's what you're doing when you're feeding them pork. You just put shit in your body, man. And it's causing you all kind of infections, heart diseases, give you a heart attack, high blood pressure. <laughs> Keep going. I mean, yeah, I mean, the pork ain't good for you, man. Also, man, we might as well get that scripture. That's these dumb ass women for you. They don't know, the women don't know nothing about health. They don't know nothing about anything. They all doped up on pharmaceuticals. Everybody's doped up on pharmaceuticals. That's like one of the main plagues messing these people up right now. Is everybody's high on pills. They get everybody high on pills, they high on Prozac. What's that? They high on uh, serotonin, re, uh, reuptake inhibitors. Mm. That's what that, they give you a name so long you can't even pronounce it. Right, that's the purpose of them drugs that the U.S. is, uh, pro, uh, their security, uh, military security forces uh, protecting in Afghanistan. You know, those uh, those fields. Those the drugs. poppy fields. Those, those poppy fields is used to make shit like uh Oh yeah, the, the Oxycontins. There you go. Everybody, these people out here, they be sniffing Oxycontins. Shooting them up. Shooting them up. They be sticking them in their ass. <laughs> now, these people do anything to get high, man. You snoring it. I mean, the drug, you don't know, the drug problems out here is crazy. And then it's the government is the one that's selling the drugs and pushing the drugs. And then the government got laws saying you can't do drugs. Or you know you gotta have some rich white guy set up a uh, set up a drug store on every corner in every neighborhood and sell drugs. But if a poor black guy or a poor white guy goes out and sells drugs, he'll go he'll get locked up for like five years or something. They'll lock you up for selling an itty bitty bag of drugs. But these motherfuckers is on a corner with stockpiles of drugs selling them. We're like, how they get all the way to customs and all that shit, and then it finally got to me, and then I get busted. <laughs> Let me show you how, how evil this shit is, It's man. a system that's designed to fuck up Israel. It's a system, you know? It's because they're not openly bringing out the chains and the, uh, the yoke of irons and shit. It's a fucking system that's enslaved your ass. Which these dumb motherfuckers is too stupid to realize. You know, they don't see the system. 
And it's the woman definitely don't see it. Right. But these dumb, these women, man, you try to teach your woman about any kind of truth, she's gonna laugh at you. Like if you wanna teach this Bible and you, you got a woman, she's she gonna give you problems. She might leave you if you start teaching the Bible, man. Really you know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta know, y'all can't let these women rule over you. Do what, you do what you need to do, and what you need to do is teach us truth. You know, if she don't do you, she's popular. Yeah, and, she, and your your grandma and your mom too, they turn against you. You know, if they turn against you, guess what? That's that, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Let them turn against you. Gotta you gotta do the work. Hey, the dog's walking. Uh, <laughs> the dog's walking here. Yeah, he's a dog. He's loading the dog. Right. He makes love to that dog. The dog, and dog just, just probably the dog licked is his the, ass the off. One in the relationship. <laughs> Nasty motherfucker. Looking like Eli Manning. And I won't doubt if he fucking that dog. They love fucking the dogs, man. They love that shit. Just like the uh, them, um, Latin tribes over in Cuba and Colombia. You know, they, it's a practice amongst them motherfuckers to fuck them donkeys. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's a practice, man. That's a, that's a, it's a, it's like the majority of the motherfuckers over there. Because they start young, eight years old, fucking them donkeys, man. Yeah, he's not lying. There's a dot. What's that on Vice? On Vice. On that YouTube There's channel. On YouTube There's a YouTube channel called Vice. That's like one of the best channels. Mm -hmm. And they got all kind of documentaries. And he ain't making this shit up, man. His actual customs was down in Colombia, was Columbia, it? Yeah, and yeah. The, everybody yeah. fucks well, donkeys. <laughs> and everybody that they fuck animals and they fuck donkeys, man. Venezuela too, I forgot. Venezuela too. And the men do it. Venezuela. And the yeah. women do it too, probably. And, no, and you know the other documentary on, 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 on Vice when they show Africa, uh, the, uh, the west side, the west coast of Africa, when they, and those Israelites they was putting on camera, man. They was, before they go out to fight them other tribes. Do a kick with. They kill some innocent child. They kill some innocent child. And they well, eat child. Yeah, that's the, yeah, they get That's them. Israel too. You can see them have my spirit, you know, when they're talking, when they interview them, that they're Israelites, man. Man, I don't know if they was hammer. I seen some of them Africans that they did this thing where they had flattened a the woman's titties. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh my God, I gotta see that. No, nah, because they said because there's a big problem of women getting there's a big problem of women getting raped over there in Africa. So if a young, if they had a young woman, they didn't want her to lose her virginity or whatever. They wanted to uh, pretend like she was still a young girl, so they. They would take a, 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 a iron, I guess, a clothes iron, and they'd iron them titties out, and they'd flatten the titties. What? Is that a white suit? I don't know if it was I on. I got to see that. It might be on. It might see, be on. That's, that's a hand my cuss. That's a um, heathen cuss. Yeah. You know what? But that tell you, so that's something a heathen would do, man. So we're not making this shit. People actually do all kind of fucked up shit, man. They, and then them heathens, they bring them heathen customs on our people, and our people start doing some wild, crazy shit. Like, you see people walk around, Back in the day, you used to look at our African pictures in National Geographic, and the Africans that had this big giant hole in the ear with a pop can in it, and have sticks and shit and bones in their noses. And make and now you neck you see stretch people around, but people in America do that now. Everybody around here got got, got big giant ear piercings. They put uh, spikes in their noses. People be getting implanting horns in their heads. That's some Babylonian shit. Bro. Yeah, it's just so you gonna tell me this place ain't evil? Yeah. Heathens. Here to go, Jeremiah 10, that's why he warned your ass. This is a crazy video, man. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, learn not, learn not, <laughs> learn not, thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So yeah, the heathen, that's them Africans. They doing all that heath heathenistic shit. Man. And the Chinese. Right, right. Yeah, Y'all be worshiping the heathen gods, worshiping Egypt gods. These people, you got a lot of people out here actually talking about they worship Osiris. They worship, man, you know how stupid you sound when you say something like that, man? The Bible tells you Egypt was wicked and evil. And that's why America, they got, a, they got a pyramid on the back of a dollar bill. That's because America was founded by witchcraft and sorcery. It was founded upon the ways of the Egyptians and the ways of the Romans, which is witchcraft and sorcery. You know, and slavery. Genocide. These, these motherfucking fools, they love doing shit different, different shit. That's what it is, man. They love hearing that different shit, man. They oh, yeah. Just like, just like at the Super Bowl, everybody knows they had an Illuminati ritual at the Super Bowl. Everybody knows that. It was one of the top stories in the news. Everybody knew uh, Beyonce was throwing up Illuminati hand signs, okay? So everybody knows about that Illuminati shit now. So, but a lot of y'all, y'all like that Illuminati shit. Cause 
A lot of these people out they into that satanic shit, man. And really, they want to be a Freemason because they thirst after power. They sell their soul just to have, get money and power or wealth. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of times Esau puts that, that uh, Freemason shit on purpose because he knows a lot of people likes, likes the devil. They'd rather choose the side of darkness than light. Yeah, that's exactly what it is too. They coming out with that new religion. It's two thirds they, too. You got that new age, all these new age weirdos walking around now. Right, right. Talking about, uh, talking about the Bible, the astrological book, and Jesus and Buddha. Buddha, he's a G, he's just like Jesus. We gotta accept Buddha too, and we gotta accept all the religions. Shit. So no, we gotta accept shit. John fourteen and six says. The, the, he is the way, the truth, and the light. He said, no man coming to the Father but by me. He didn't say nothing about no Buddha, no Shiva, or no goddamn Muhammad. So, Akbar. Oh yeah, you know, Akbar. And Akbar in Hebrew means rat or mouse. In Hebrew, it's Akbar in Hebrew. You can look it up, it means mouse or rat. So yeah, so Allah, so that 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 false god the Muslims worship is the god of the rats, the, the god of sewage. Yeah, because a Muslim a Muslim smells like sewage. If you see a Muslim come up here, he gonna stink. He ain't gonna smell good. Like you see these Muslim bitches walk up, they stink. The, teen, the teenage Newton Ninja Turtles, their master. <laughs> yeah, they smell like shit mixed with incense. Ain't he a rat? Yeah, he is. He's splinter. <laughs> <laughs> They worship the splitter. Allah, that means the God of the rat God. Because Allah, that's Hebrew for God. It's not God's actual name. Right. But right. God, because even the evil gods in the Bible are called gods, but, but that's just a generic term. It's a title. So yeah, the word Akbar, when you say Allah Akbar, you're saying the, the God of the rats. Right. That's what you're saying. That's some crazy shit. And you shit. got people up come talking about they're Muslim. Man, if you call yourself a Muslim, look, the Lord's just going to put you to death. Right. That's the end of that story. He's <laughs> right. The kids, oh, wait a minute. Check it out. You know, Malcolm X's grandson, this little stupid wicked ass, got arrested going to Iran. So I think that he got that detained under the NDAA. Yep. Did he? Yep. And Malcolm X's grandson. Yeah. They, they arrested his ass. CIA arrested his ass going to Iran. Talking about they going over there for some, um, some festival of art that, uh, you know, a lot yeah. of musicians and. But go ahead and go hang out with them Iranians. Right, right. Because really, them Iranians, they tyrants too. Because we're not, that, that Iranian came out here and said they weren't allowed to have guns in Iran. So I mean, they really are tyrants over there. I mean, they ain't no good either. Just because Ahmadinejad, I mean, he does some, says some good stuff. He'll, he'll call them, uh, them fake Jews over there a bunch of devil worshippers. And he'll say that they need to be destroyed. That, that's good. But, but he's still a heathen. I mean, the Lord, he's still not good, man. He's not a good guy. Okay. So if you want to go over there and hold hands with some goddamn Iranians and Muslims, you know what? The, you, the Lord's going to kill you right along with them. Go ahead. Second answer is uh, 3 and 31. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are, then, are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Yeah, so yeah, Babylon, that's these people that's part of this world. Cause, yeah, because the people that are in a state of confusion. Yeah, the heathens. Because uh, uh, Babylon means confusion. That's why the Bible said America is known as the uh, Great Babylon, that great poor. So, okay, that's America. It's a land of great confusion, man. Look at all this confusion out here. You, got, you have people protesting on the corner, fighting to be a faggot. Saying, we got to fight for gay rights and to be a homosexual. You got actual people fighting to be a faggot. So you gonna tell me this place ain't gonna be destroyed? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Or is there any other people that know of thee beside Israel? So yeah, yeah, you ain't you ain't got people out in America. You don't have people out here fighting for justice and righteousness. We out here fighting for the Lord and doing the uh, works of the Lord. So you, de you ain't definitely gonna have no heathen doing it. You, you got yeah, you, you got Satan out here uh, putting in work on the corner. Trying, trying to get, get people to be a sodomite. You know what I'm saying? Get people to defile themselves. Fuck, yeah, have a whole gay parade. And everybody be good with it, joining in, holding hands. You know, the Lord gonna destroy all the people to be partaking in that madness, man. Go ahead. Or is there any other people that know of thee beside Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Yeah, so Jacob's the only one that even believes in this word. That's why the Lord said, 
He only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's us, the Lord, he came to save the Israelites. He didn't come to save all them damn heathens and all those Muslims, okay? He ain't come for them. Keep going. And yet their reward appeareth not. I mean, you know, our people are scattered among all those nations, you know what I'm saying? So all, some of our people might be scattered over there in Iran, mm -hmm. but a lot of those people are heathens, okay? Mm -hmm. Ain't everybody an Israelite. Ain't there, not everybody on the planet Earth is a child of God, all right? But, but we are as numerous as the stars of heaven, keep going. And their labor have no fruit. Yeah, them Hamites was flattened big titties with uh, iron. That, that, that's something a heathen would do. Stretching their necks and shit. That's not something the children of Jacob would do. I hope not. Circumcising their women. Circumcising their women. That's the ways of the heathen, man. Raping their boys at 12. 13, filthy. You come to introduce them to manhood so he won't be afraid of the penis. Yeah, them, so, them, them filthy ass Muslims. They, and their so-called holy book, which is not holy, is filthy. This, uh, the Quran. Quran and, toilet paper. Yeah, in, in that book, in that book, it, it says it's okay to molest little boys in the Quran. It says that's a joyous thing to do is to molest little boys. That's what it says in the Quran. So the Quran's built around uh, pedophilia. And we ain't mo no friends with no Muslims, okay? Don't say we all worship the same God. No, we don't. Y'all worship the God of the heathens, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all worship the Lord of the Flies. Ain't no so, spirit clown, no brother. Yeah, all these Muslims coming out. If you ain't doing what the, the Bible said to do, because the Bible's the word of the Most High. I'm going to get a scripture too, because this is the only holy book. There are not many holy books. People are talking about, oh, I got the lost books of this. I got the lost. You ain't, no, that's the only holy book is the Bible. Yeah, you got the lost book. Niggas love hearing that shit, man. That's that deep. That's them trying to be deep and shit get deep. I lost different books, crazy books and shit. Lost books, yeah, them books back. got lost because nobody wanted them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's exactly Yeah, you're right, they didn't want them. A, lo a lot of those books they say are lost when you read them, they talk about paganism. Like a lot of the Gnostic texts. The Gnostics, they worship the serpent and they said the God of the Old Testament was not the same God as the New Testament. And you know, that's a that's an outright lie. Because when you, when you read the scriptures in the New Testament, it's clear it's the same God. That's clearly profane. So they trying to they trying to tell people about these so-called lost books so they can indoctrinate you into their satanic beliefs. Yeah. And so they can indoctrinate you into their New Age uh, Luciferian doctrine. So y'all, yeah, you devil worshippers can't fool us, man. Even as customs. And their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen. And I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. So yeah, most, the majority of these people, two-thirds of Israel especially, because the commandments was only given to Israel, the two-thirds of Israel, they don't listen to the Lord's commandments. That, when you start reading the Bible, people have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? They start